Three Fish Films, Pot is Dope here with. Rock Carmichael, man. Baps up, bless all people. Bless all people, that's the first thing we're gonna talk about. How did that come about? Probably back in uh, 2009, yeah. um, you know, I was playing yeah. ball out there at Virginia Tech. Mm -hmm. one, two, and um, one, two, one, two, just wanted to do something different, man. We're just sick one, of everybody two, one, two, being one, two, selfish, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and, and doing for yeah. themselves. So um, going to that next year, 010, I graduated early my junior year. Yeah. Two, man, we just started, we went and um, took everybody yeah. I knew. We went and um, worked in the Head Start, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just helping out the little kids every day, uh -huh. man. We were doing like 30 hours a week. Yeah. Just going yeah. in there with yeah. no kids, with, with no dad, and that's kind of how it started, man. Setting up field trips, took them into the Virginia Tech Stadium, meet all the coaches, you know what I'm saying, running through the locker room. They got to come and we played on the field with them for a little bit, and now that's something they do annually out there, you know, so I just started trying to, trying to change, you know. Mm -hmm. So for the people who don't know too much about you, you went to Glen Park High School in PG County, correct? Definitely, definitely, man. Right here, you know what I'm saying? My man Pat is dope. Glen Park, man. Um, just in this year's draft, man, we had uh, myself, Philip Taylor went number 15 overall to the Cleveland Browns. Um, Adrian Moten went uh, seven rounds to the, he's with the Seattle uh, Seahawks right now. We just had Kyle Arrington play in the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. uh, number 24, star corner for the Patriots. So we all played on the same high school team, you know what I'm saying? So definitely one part of PG County, we, we up next. Then you took the leap to Virginia Tech. Tell us a little bit about Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech, man, was um, definitely a learning experience just to the fact that um, it's, it's different from being in the area. You know what I'm saying? You're getting out there in the country, man. It's the mountains and you, you see the trees and the grass. You're like, you don't really get a chance to just sit back and appreciate, you know, life for what it is. And um, being out there, I met a lot of people, man, like from Michael Vick to Tyrod Taylor, you know what I'm saying? And if you know anything about Virginia Tech football, that cover a lot. And um, I just really, you know, try to try to hype up my game, man, and just keep doing what we do, you know what I mean, playing ball. So as far as a little bit beyond the football scene, we got the VAP and we got uh, Christmas time, you did some stuff. Uh, Thanksgiving time, you did some stuff. And today, you about to do some stuff for um, some shelters for Valentine's Day. Talk a little bit about the extracurricular activities you do in the um, in the area. Definitely, man. Uh, for us, man, for the BAP, it was, that's, that's really, that's just what we do, man. Growing up, that's what I seen my mom do. You know, she ran like a daycare out of the crib. Uh, my pop would go scoop all the, all the kids, man, in the neighborhood and just work with doing football drills, basketball, track, whatever time of the year it was. So really, you know, when I came up and it was my turn, I wanted to do the same thing. You know, I got two younger brothers. You know, my dad passed away. So it's really, I felt like it was on me to kind of give back to them what I had. You know what I'm saying? Then. It just came to the to the fact of like we say with the Batman, who are you not to help the next person? You know what I'm saying? Like it don't matter what it is, you, you that he's a man that and at the end of the day the man deserves respect. You know, you do what you can to, to help him. So um that's really what it's all about, man. Just trying to make sure everybody eat. So talk about your father a little bit of how he influenced you and you doing the things you're doing right now. Um, Pops, man, Pops was a real big help, man. He passed uh, 08, July 13th, man. Um, and it really, like, it didn't, it, you know, it hurt definitely losing your Pops, but I was, I'm the oldest, so I kind of felt um, I had to be strong for my mom, you know, and my brothers. Naturally, that's how you're going to feel. And uh, like I say, man, I'm just really just following in his footsteps, man. He played ball, so I played ball. I always seen him helping, and I got, you know, books from, from teams he was coaching that from, he started his own track team. There's a lot of things that help a lot of kids out today, man, that's, that's playing either at the college or the pro level. So, like I said, I just wanted to, to do my part, man, and try to give back. Like, I mean, we've been doing it for years. We just kind of bringing it to the public, you know, to the mass of people because, um, like we say, we feel like people deserve it, you know what I'm saying? And right now, 2012, everybody's so flashy and, you know, want to worry about your chain and your cars, and that's just the wrong thing. And that's what the kids see, man, you know what I'm saying, growing up. So we're trying to, trying to show people it's another way. Uh, talk a little bit about the struggles and the success you had this year and, and how everything is basically going to transform to success next year. Um, definitely, man. Um, I went fourth round, you know what I'm saying, this year, this past season, which was tough, you know what I'm saying, for me, just because you got high hopes for yourself. 
and um, I really look to the look to the fact that the numbers don't lie, man. Like you look my numbers up, I was like 20 passes out of 130, you know, completed on me in my career. That was them numbers. That's unheard of. I had like. 10 picks in my two season starting with like three to the crib, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, my number's better than everybody, so I should go, you know what I'm saying? But it don't it don't work like that, it's politics. So I learned that quick, you know, that it's, 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 it's about um, what you, kind of what you did for me lately, you know, like who, who are you, you know what I'm saying? And what can you bring to us? And I, that, that made me tighten up real quick. I learned that it was a business, you know what I'm saying? Going yeah. into the professional level now, it's not just, out there playing at Gwen Park or at Virginia Tech, you know what I'm saying? Like this is a business. How much money can you bring to me? You know, so I really, I really had to tighten up just in that aspect. Football-wise, man, it was good. It was great learning from um, Andre Johnson. You know, top receiver in the league. We got uh, Jonathan Joseph, the top corner in the league this year. So I got to sit back behind those guys, man, and just soak up everything I could. Brock Carmichael, man, out of Houston, Texas. You know, if I made it, man, I definitely believe that the next person can make it. It's definitely just about how strong your faith is and, you know, how much you believe in yourself. Whatever you want in life is definitely going to come to you, you know. But you know, at the end of the day, you just you just got to work, man. And that's kind of that's what rapping is, is all about. That's all people.